Hello and welcome to another Hot Sauce review. Today we're having a look at El Yucateco's Caribbean Hot Sauce. Now this is one of my personal favourites. Um, I haven't found that many reviews of the sauce online, so I thought why not give it a go. Um, El Yucateco, now that's one of those brands you might be able to actually pick up at your local supermarket if you live in the States or Mexico, but if you live here in Sweden, that's not very likely to happen. Uh, but they are around. Uh, I've tried out quite a few of their sauces before. Uh, besides this one, I have the uh, black sauce, the black label sauce here at home, uh, which is a story in of itself. Uh, tastes like ashes but in a good way. Um, so let's have a look at this sauce. What does it contain and why is it so darn delicious? So what we have here is water as the main ingredient, followed by habanero peppers. It doesn't specify the amount, but on the Swedish label that I have, it does say 28%. I'm not where sure, sorry, I'm not really sure where they're getting that information from. But it sounds sort of credible, actually. Uh, when, mm, just tasting it, I would guess somewhere around 20 or 30 percent habanero. Um, following that, we have carrots, salt, spices, acidic acid, mm, uh, onion powder, citric acid, xanthian gum, sodium benzonate, and potassium sorbate as preservatives. What more could a boy like me want? I don't know all those fancy words. Well, some of them actually. Um, but let's see what this one has to offer in the way of taste. That is a tremendously flavorful smell which pops up from the bottle. Perhaps spice is the better word. Now I don't mean that in the hot way, but in the way that it uses quite a lot of spices. Ah. I'm picking up those peppers and the carrots, giving it that Caribbean feel. You also get the vinegar, oh, that's tangy, tangy flavour to it. More like citrus actually. Um, and also, it doesn't say, but I'm guessing one of the spices would actually have to be garlic. So let's give this one a go. Mmm. It is quite tangy, which I normally don't like, but here it works so darn well with the with the garlic and the carrots and those, I'm guessing, orange habaneros. And it creates sort of a beautiful flavour profile. This one goes absolutely well uh, on uh, tacos and chicken. And today I'm actually going to have this on some pizza and I'm actually going to stop saying the word actually that much. Sorry about that. Old habit. Um, the consistency is somewhat runny but the texture when, it, when it's in the mouth is a bit more creamy. Um, it's not watery like um, what you would say, like a Tabasco sauce, but it has no real chunks to it, nor, nor any seeds. This one, highly recommended. I don't think I would be able to live without it. Perhaps I would. Either way, thank you for watching. Uh, 
Oliko Teco's hot sauce, highly recommended by the Swede and the Chili Cat.